Sup guys, Hey King here, bringing you a live reaction to Resident Evil 3 Remake. Okay, I, I knew they were going to reveal this game. The leaks had come out that this game was confirmed since last week. And we knew it would be revealed sometime this week, either at the uh, Game Awards show or something, in it. Until it was confirmed that no, it wasn't going to re be revealed at the Game Awards. And then of course uh, Sony announced their state of play for a Tuesday, which is today. So yeah, the assumption was that yeah, we're going to get Resident Evil 3. Uh, the reveal, the confirmation today. And they revealed it today. And I was at work when uh, when they showed it. So yeah, I went on my break. And I and I actually watched the uh, state of play. I kind of rushed through it just, just to get to the Resident Evil 3 part. And yeah, it was good. But yeah, I'm going to react to it again. And then I'm going to break the trailer down and go through it bit by bit. Just so we can see uh, what's in there, because uh, oh boy, this trailer, man, this trailer was good. Tra they got us, they got us good, yeah. With Resident Evil uh, Resistance, they got us good with that one. Like, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think anyone. I think I only read one, one post from someone that suggested that uh, the res the Resistance part was actually going to be an online component. Someone actually made the assumption that that was what it's going to be, and a lot of us just thought, hmm. No, probably not, maybe, 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 I don't know, but uh, it is, that is the case actually. So yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for this game, man. I'm hyped, and I'm hyped that it's coming out in April, so that's like, that's like so good, like, that was one of my predictions that this game would most likely come out early next year, and, because that's what Capcom does, they reveal a game, and then it comes out early next year, and that's pretty much the case here, especially when the financial uh, thing, whatever, that they have ends in March 31st, so the assumption was that the game would probably then, therefore, come out after April then, so after March, basically, so sometime between April and March of next year, maybe, but uh, yeah, April, April 3rd as well, like, oh, holy shit, that's just perfect, but... Uh, yeah, let's just watch this trailer now, man. Like, I just want to get back into watching this. So, it started off with them saying, let's have a look at Resident Evil, Res or was it Project Resistance, Resident Evil Resistance, and then it ended up being RE3. So, yeah, here we go, starting now. You gotta stay strong. Don't give in to fear out there, right? That looks like you're rising to Resident Evil 2. This is RE2, actually, now that I've seen it. It's showing the time transition because, as you know, and that's Leon. And then it rewinds back to show the time that, you know, at the beginning of the outbreak with Jill. See, I thought that said that, that, was, that was meant to be. July 20... I was a bit confused, but September 28, yeah. Oh. Oh. So, okay, there's an emphasis already. I just I just saw that. The, the version I saw was a bit small and dark, so... And at first I thought this was a first-person game, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, is it going to be first-person? Caution tapes. I'm wondering if this is the RPD station for those analysis coming down. Oh my god. There's, I thought this was Mr. Red. He said stars. I swear I heard him say stars just now. And there's our first look at Jill. Jill? Over here! Uh, she looks good. What the hell? How could this many people be infected? Well, we see the rats. This city is completely cut Mikaya. off, isolated. He looks so different, though. Don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an infected. Murphy Seeker? But right now, it's uh, got a hard right, on for because... the only two stars left in town. We don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the Nikolai. way. Nikolai! Tyrell Patrick. Carlos Olivero. Star's office has to be in this direction. It gets worse every night. Gets worse every night. They don't want the world I, to know, know what they've done. Is. Oh, my head. What's wrong with Umbrella? Get in! I can't stop them all! You gotta get out of there! You guys are the ones who caused all of this! No, 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 wait! Oh, come on. Ah! We've gotta be dreaming. So are we gonna get, like, PTS stuff going on? Like, that's the thing that kind of, like, confuses me, like... And then this part here, like... Uh, 
commitment, honesty, integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation. We actually foundation see them create a nemesis, like. Lose the online game, yeah, and then that was the big reveal that that's part of it. Like, that's crazy. Real to now, the costume pack at the oh, cool. I didn't even notice that. Like, he's got the short hair there. The players, anyway, let's go through this trailer bit by bit. Um, seriously, I'm so see when it, when it comes to the original three Resident Evil games on the PS1, yeah. I, I I honestly I think I think honestly Resident Evil Three is my favorite one out of out out of the out of, out of the three that we have. Like one I played a lot. Three I definitely played a lot. Two I I play I play one when, when it was. And I, don't get me wrong, I like I like one and two a lot. But like well, one was uh, once I got to that point in my life where I just thought okay, because I, I bought it when I was eight years old, but I didn't play it properly until I was fourteen, and that's when I decided I'm gonna dive into this game and and, and see if I can complete it. And I did, and I had a lot of fun with it terrified fun and Resident Evil 3 was actually the one that I think I completed first before I ended up playing Resident Evil 1 and that one terrified the shit out of me like back as a kid and I ended up getting two and two I just casually played through like once I got it but I was like 16 I think but um I just, I just have more fun memories I think of 3 but especially because I always felt like 3 could have been better than what it was even though it's my I think my favorite one out of the, out of the original 3 out of the trilogy I always felt like it could have been better, like they could have made it a bit more grand and bigger and uh, one of my hopes was that they would eventually remake number three and they are and it does look like it's going to be grand and bigger so I'm hoping a lot of the characters get bigger roles, like it looks like Brad has a bigger role in this game, it looks like uh, the, the UBCS characters like, Ty like Tyrell and uh, Murphy seem maybe have bigger roles, Nikolai looks great from what I saw, Mikhail is the one I'm a bit like iffy on because uh... Yeah, he, he looks like he looks he looks like the uh, he looks like a grandpa actually, like uh, he looks like the typical Russian grandpa badass, which is cool. I don't mind that as long as he as long as he gets an epic death or he gets an even epicer death like in the original game. I'm I'm cool with that. I'm happy with his character. Like, but yeah, I I'm liking this so far. But yeah, let's just go through this bit by bit and just watch this. So this is Resident Evil 2, that's what we're seeing right now. And it makes a lot of sense that they would develop this alongside Resident Evil 2. Like... It's one of the smartest decisions they could have done, developing this alongside. So, let's go. I'm going to pause it here. And yeah, there's our first glimpse of a nemesis here. Just this silhouette coming through. Honestly, at first I thought this was a first person. Like, they, they made it, but apparently it is third person, so. But I'm wondering if this is the RPD station. I assume this means, uh, I think this is, maybe this is an example of the gameplay. Like, you can throw bookcases down to block paths, you can go through buildings and different areas. He does say stars, like, stars. Let me go back and see. She's wearing pants. Jill's not wearing a skirt in this one, which is... It looks like a better outfit, like a more casual outfit. Do you know what I mean? Like in terms of... And that's Brad, I think, talking, definitely. So you're going to be exploring a vast city, basically, and there's Mikhail... This is a deep. And there's like people in the background there where he's sitting at. I don't know if that's uh, any other surviving characters or if that's zombies maybe in the cart. Do I look? 
That's definitely Murphy Seeker, I think, because Murphy was the in the original game. Uh, he's the only dude with that with the, hat, with the wearing the barrette hat, I think. And it looks like he's in the car park. There's Brad. And it looks like they're in the middle of the outbreak as it's happening, so we're going to be able to experience that. And it looks like Brad and Joe are actually trying to help the cops in the city. So perhaps, because one of the things I'm hoping for is that the, we actually get to start the game being part of that entire part of the RPD squad, trying to fight the infected, but they just come through and they kill everyone and we have to escape. So I'm hoping that's how it starts. And it looks like that is how it starts. We get, we get to experience the infection as it's taken over the city. So that's a cool way to open the game. You know, there's Nikolai, and that looks like she's in the bar, maybe. There's Tyrell there. And this is Carlos. And he's with someone here. I f I'm thinking this is Tyrell. That could be a zombie just in the background there behind Carlos, or it could be Tyrell. But it looks like Carlos is coming to the police station, to the RPD station. So we might end up meeting Carlos at the RPD station. That's definitely him talking, so he's going to the star's office. So maybe we're going to get some sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe a separate campaign for Carlos, and then it intersects with Joe's campaign, and that's how we meet up. So you know how we didn't get the Leon and Claire stars reunion, like in the original game? Maybe they're going to change up and have Carlos and Joe meet in the uh, op uh, star's office instead. And then a nemesis shows up, and you have to escape the station as he's chasing you through the RPD. She says it gets worse every night, so are we going to be experiencing the outbreak for several days? We know that Jill gets infected and she ends up, like, uh, resting or whatever for the next few days, but maybe, maybe we go through the days awake and then we have to survive it. Maybe. I don't know how they'll do it. I want to stop it here because the uh, camera's about to cut. And we're back again, so yeah, let's continue. There's fences here, cops, RPD. Looks like there's a big crane area. I don't know who this one is, the guy on the monitor. Maybe it's just a, a video file, whatever you find of this guy. This could be the hospital, actually. And there's Raccoon City. There's someone doing like a map. Uh, hey, maybe it's Dario. He wanted to be a, a reporter, an investigator. So maybe, maybe that's the game's version of Dario. Maybe that's his little office and he's putting things together here and there. It looks like the, a lot of the cutscenes are going to be first person, maybe. Like, we're going to get a lot of first person elements. And maybe this is in Joe's uh, apartment. This part here, I thought this might be an airport or something, but no, this looks like a car park and there's a helicopter there. It looks like a news chopper, like a normal news chopper helicopter, perhaps. I don't know if it is a news chopper. And it looks like that's going to be the equivalent of the clock tower helicopter fight, perhaps. We can see a lot of uh, crate, uh, towers here, electric towers, and there's Joe in the street. This is, this is our, I think, our first glimpse of gameplay with the third person over the shoulder view. I can't stop them. Mealy and there's Brad. And there's the helicopter spinning out of control. We, we don't see... Oh, so now we're in this shot. Let's see. Uh, can I brighten it up? No. There's some claws here, three claws. I think it could be a hunter, maybe? I don't know if it's a hunter or not. These shots go really fast. So this is either a hunter or a demos. But I can see green. So I'm gonna say it's a hunter, yeah. That, that definitely looks like a reptilian hunter or something. And there's, there's our first glimpse of Nikolai looking Russian badass as ever. So I love Nikolai, man. I, I, I so badly want a game with him and Hunk, because like, if you read the original Resident Evil Archive uh, book, books that came out years ago when the original games came out, it did say that Hunk and Nikolai trained at the same facility, the train in, I think, in Rockford, and they were rivals, right? So I always like the idea that maybe we could get a game with these two facing off against each other, because if there's one thing I want, it's a game playing as Hunk and having Nikolai as the villain in there. Or, and, and just us fighting Nikolai, just killing him finally, like, without any mutation, just two badasses with their knives and guns and pistols, whatever, just having, just having a fight, you know what I mean, and, and, and the other prevailing, like, so that's, uh, this one goes a bit too fast, I don't know what's going on here, uh, this one, I can't tell what's going on, it's a car, maybe, maybe she gets in the helicopter and it crashes, I don't know, I 
I definitely think we're going to get PTS elements in this, maybe, so... Resident Evil 3. And, and it's interesting they're not calling it Resident Evil 3 and Nemesis, like, just Resident Evil 3, like... Because in chat pad it, it was a different title as well. So... It's so interesting that we're actually getting to see how they how they made a nemesis in this. Like, look at that. Look at those tissue bones and the... Look at that, injecting it. That's crazy. And there, there's the... I wonder if this is going to be the opening of the game. Cartridge for bioweapon. Codename Nemesis. What does it say there? There's a word there. I don't know what the name says, but yeah. And Nemesis waking up. It's crazy, man. This is such a good reveal trailer, like, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy how good the reveal trailers for Resident Evil have been. Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 2, and now this. And it's going to come with this online component. I'm happy about this, because, uh, yeah, it's not a separate game. So in a way, we're getting two games for the price of one, even though I'm probably not going to play the online, unless it's for free. I don't know. But I'm just so happy this is going to be on PS4, like, and not PS5. Anyway, guys, that was my breakdown. Uh, I hope it was good. I hope you enjoyed it and my reaction to the trailer. And, yeah, I can't wait for this game, man. I can't wait for them to announce the Steelbook edition so I can just pre-order that. But, yeah, anyway, guys, as always, like and subscribe, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you, and I can't wait till April, man. It's going to be a good month. <laughs> Bye, guys.